Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this lesson, we're going to talk about single templates in Hugo. And single templates are templates which are used for single pages. Now, there's two types of pages in Hugo. There's single pages and there's list pages. And so both types of pages are going to have different templates that will be used for them. So for list pages, we use list templates. And for single pages, we use single templates. Now, if we come over here to the content folder i want to show you i've created two markdown files one's called a dot markdown and one's called b dot markdown and these are both single pages right these are both you know if you had a blog these would be like blog posts or they'd be like pages on a website they're single pages and if we head over to our website that's currently running also i just want to say I'm using a theme, the Draft Academy Hugo theme, which is the theme we've been using throughout this course. So when we come over here to the web page, you'll notice that um, both B and A are showing up here on the home page. And if we click one, you see that B is using a single template, right? And A is also using a single template. So they're using the same template. And that template is located in themes and it's located in this layouts folder, in this default folder, and in this file called single.html. And so all of this code is being used as a template for these single files up here. Now, the question becomes, how do we create our own single template? So for example, imagine we didn't want to use a theme, and so instead of using the themes single template, we want to create our own. Or imagine if we wanted to use a theme, but we wanted to override the themes single template. Well, the way that you can do that is you come down here to this layouts folder and all of our templates are going to live in here. And we're going to right click and, uh, whoops. And we're going to right click and click new folder. And we're going to call this underscore default. And it's very important that you name it exactly like that. And then inside this underscore default folder, we want to make a new file and we're going to call it single.html. And it has to be an HTML file. And so this HTML file is now the new template for your single files. And so if I just put some text in here and I save this and I head over to my website, you'll notice that I'm on this A page, right? This A.markdown page. But instead of showing the content of the a.markdown file, it's just showing what's in this single template. And so inside this template, I want to actually create some HTML. So I'm going to go ahead and type out an HTML uh, sort of skeleton here. And now we have an actual like HTML document that we can use. But the question becomes, how do I take the content that's inside of these markdown files, you know, this is the B markdown file and this is the A, like this is the content that's inside these files. How do I get it to show up? And we can use a Hugo variable called dot content. Now I'm gonna make a, now Draft Academy has an entire video talking about you know variables in Hugo, but for now just understand that when you type open and close curly brackets like this, and dot content, it grabs the content from these markdown files and you'll see that it displays them. So if I come over here, um, this used to just say that. And now when I refresh the page, it says this is a dot markdown file, it's in the root directory, right? And so inside this template, I'm grabbing all of the content from those files. And so, you know, you can build whatever template you'd want in here. So I could, you know, if I wanted to, I could build like some sort of a, uh, you know, header right and maybe do like a horizontal rule and we could build like a footer and what you'll see is that when we come back over here we have okay the header the footer and then inside of those two things is the content and you know if i wanted i could come over to the b dot markdown file and it's going to be the same thing right it has that same header has that same footer but it has different content. And that's kind of the point, right? Is that there's, you know, there's certain common elements that you're gonna want on your single pages, right? You might want the same header on all of your single pages. You might want the same footer on all your single pages, but you want the actual content to be different. You want the content to be what's, what's inside of the markdown files. So that's how you can do something like that. Now, inside of these single templates, we can also access um, some of these values. So these are front matter variables, right? things like title, date, draft. 
And if you want to access those variables inside of here, we can. And so on top of this content, I might want to put like a header and inside here we can type open and close curly bracket and we can do dot title. And what this is going to do is it's going to go out and grab the title, right? I could also, um, if I wanted to, I could make like another thing here and I could put the date that it was created. And so I can just type dot date. Now you can use dot title and dot date to access the title and the date in the front matter, but these are special front matter variables. And so the way that you access title and date is a little bit different than the way you might access, for example, a custom front matter variable. And we're going to talk about that in a future video where we're going to get into variables. But for now, just know that you can access the title and the date of your page using things like that. And so now we save this file and we come over here to our web browser, you'll notice that here we have the title of the page, the date that it was created, and then the content. And so if I come over to the A file, um, same thing. So it, it automatically populates the title, the date, and the content. So using single templates, is a super powerful way to you know customize the look and the feel and really just the overall layout of your pages in Hugo. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.